Parental controls allow you to limit what managed users can do on your Mac and when they can do it. <clears throat> if I click on my Les Leopard Lesson user, I get five tabs to set controls in. If I choose Simple Finder, the user will get a very stripped down version of the Mac interface to work with. I can also choose to limit what applications this user can open. I'll say that this user can only use iLife, iLife, iWork, and Internet applications. I'll also prevent the user from burning any CDs or DVDs by unchecking this box. I can also turn off their ability to administer printers or change their own password. If I deselect the simple finder option, I can prevent the managed user's dock from being customized. I'll turn simple finder back on. In the content tab, I can limit what type of material this user can view. I'll turn off profanity in the dictionary. In Safari, I can allow unlimited access, which would be the same access as normal. I can choose to limit the access to adult sites. This uses a list from Apple that bans certain sites, but if you click Customize, you can add sites to either allow or ban. The best option, though, is to build a list of sites to allow. These will be the only websites this user can access. Apple has nine sites in here by default. To add your own, just click the plus icon and type in the name of the site and its web address. To remove a site, just select it and click the minus icon. The Mail and iChat tab lets you limit who this user communicates with. Click the plus icons to add email addresses or IM usernames you know are OK. Enter your own email address in the Send Permission Request To box. When the managed user is sent an email or tries to send someone else an email not in the allowed list, an email will be sent to your address requesting permission. The Time Limits tab lets you set a schedule for when the managed user can operate the Mac. Time limits can be set for weekdays and weekends. You can also select chunks of time to deny access. I'll set it for school nights from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. and on weekends from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. The Mac won't let the Leopard Lesson user on the computer during these times. The Logs tab lets you keep track of what websites and applications have been used in a certain time period along with who the user has been communicating with on iChat. So now let's log into the Leopard Lesson user. I'm presented with a much smaller dock. and When I click on my Applications folder, I get a simple window without scroll bars. To move to the other apps, I can click the arrow to the next page. I'll open Safari. In my bookmarks bar, all the approved websites have been added. If I try to go to yahoo.com, Safari will tell me I'm not allowed to go there. If I have a parent or administrator around and they feel yahoo.com is OK, they can enter into the, the administrator name and password to allow access to that site. 